Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry consistently on a cane for season 12 League of Legends. For your runes, you're gonna wanna take Conquer, Triumph, Tenacity, Last Stand, Sun Impact, and Ravenous Hunter. Obviously, this is a red cane build. Red cane is much more stable and consistent than blue cane. If your team has uh, already lots of high damage, for example, you have an action Caitlyn, it wouldn't really make sense to go blue cane this game because we already have the damage output on our team. Blue Cane has a little more mobility and a little more burst than Red Cane. So if your team's already very tanky, yes, Blue Cane's good. Or if the enemy team's very squishy, Blue Cane's good. In this case, they have tank support, tank top, bruiser jungle. I think Blue Cane would be a terrible choice in this situation. For our items, we're going to be going the classic 67% win rate. We're going to be going for Gore Drinker into Cleaver into Sterix. Kane's Q is an amazing ability. So much AoE on it. That most of the time, even if you're queuing away from the target, it'll still get hit by your Q, which is just fantastic. We're gonna go ahead and get our E next, keep our health up. Your W's damage level one's pretty pitiful. It's uh it's way less than your Q and it has a much longer animation. We're up against a Viego. We should actually be able to solo him if he's missing a bit of health. And Viego is one of those junglers where he can actually be missing health. And his clear is a little bit on the slower side. If you're not sure if you win the one versus one, just do a full clear. Bottom to top or top to bottom doesn't matter. Just do all six camps in a linear fashion and you'll be good to go. Like I said, I think I can solo him so I'm going to go for it. Plus Kench has ignite advantage. So I think we win this. I'm going to auto then W, the auto pulls them together, then we Q through. We don't need to use our E here. There we go. Get that spicy speed going from camp to camp. Kane is one of those junglers that can consistently do a 315 jungle clear or faster, even if you don't get the best leash in the world, or even if your clear isn't 100% optimized, because there's lots of little things you can do to shave a second off there, half a second off over there type of thing. So he is really, really good for beginners. I think he is easily a top five jungler if you are iron through platinum because of his carry potential. Even if you're not finding early game ganks, if you AFK farm, then gank, AFK farm, then gank, you'll be giving your team a lot of value. Full clear, 315. I know technically we killed it after, but we dragged it to where we wanted to go anyways. Now we can look for the gank. We're gonna hold on to our Q. There we go, when we can no longer reach him with our autos and then we finish him off. When you already have the HP on somebody, you don't wanna queue early cause it's your dash. So there I just stayed on top of him with my autos since I could kill him with autos anyways, then used Q as a gap closer. Viego should be in the area. I think I'm also about to run into Evelyn. We're gonna have to go over the wall. Yeah, they don't know where I went. They thought I went this way, but I didn't. Evelyn can't fight me at all. She's going to harass the crap out of me, though, which is kind of annoying. I'm going to auto-attack Q. And we can E over. That was not worth it for them at all. They lost so much out of it, and I think Viego's going to get a double now. Your Q and your E easily go over any wall. Your Q goes over any thin wall, I should say, not any wall in general. This is an easy fight. The enemies are throwing here really hard. They shouldn't be fighting. We totally win this. I should have red buff advantage over this guy. Uh, I'll push for his wolves. Auto attack Q. I missed it with the second part of my Q, not ideal. Got the wolf. Evelyn's here apparently. I don't know where she is, but she's here. I got the wolf though, so I'm still happy with that trade. I'm gonna cross through. I don't care if she hits me. Oh man, I almost made it through. That hit she did, I actually do care if she hits me. <laughs> He's gonna lose his wraps off this. We're gonna W him since he can't see us. We're gonna auto then Q, that's an easy kill. You only lead in with W if they don't know you're there. Oh, she's gonna. She's trying to get us now. She's wasting a lot of her time, missing out on a lot of XP. If you can't solo the enemy jungler, you're not gonna be playing this aggressive. This is only if it's a tank jungler, a mage jungler, 
uh, an off-meta jungler, you can bully them before you have your second form. Why? Like, what? I don't know if she has Ignite. Okay, she has Exhaust. I'm actually fine there, then. I'm gonna hit her with the W. Auto attack Q. Yeah, they're, they're being really aggressive with me. Whenever you play Kane and you're being aggressive, the enemies have a really weird habit of forming up to kill you. It's like a intruder on an ant pile or a hornet's nest. They just really come after you full force. But yeah, like I was saying, if you can't solo the enemy jungler, camp, 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 camp. Take all six camps, then gank, reset, all six camps, then gank, reset, all six camps, then gank. It's that simple. If you do all six camps, then gank, you'll be building up such a big XP and gold lead over the enemy, most enemy junglers by default, you'll be winning the majority of your games that way. What I'm doing, once again, I'm only doing invades and being aggressive because I know I can solo him. I saw he was lower HP and um, like I understand how the champion works. I've played a lot of Viego. I understand that viego has been over nerfed and that most junglers can actually solo him even though he has lethal tempo advantage over me. But granted, Conqueror is still a very strong keystone to solo people with. Conqueror and Lethal Tempo and a Fight to the Death are the two best keystones in the game. They, they, they do very well over a prolonged period of time since they both stack. They, they both have that stacking nature of level 6, around 7 minute mark, pretty good. I think we hit it actually around 645, I wasn't really paying attention. We almost have enough Red Essence. We're sitting on a stupid amount of uh, gold here. If you're in a very aggressive area and you don't have good vision, just hold on to your E and you can get out of really any situation. So here, we don't know where anything is really. We don't know where their jungler is. We're gonna hold on to our E to get out. I want some red essence, so I guess I'll go beat up Evelyn a bit. Got the big wolf. I'm gonna leave. I don't think I can actually win this. I'm just gonna flash. I didn't realize Urgot was here. He has item advantage over me. Plus I'm sitting on my second form here. He's a goner, I have my E. He doesn't have his R, he misses. He's getting hard baited. I'm waiting for my W, there we go. We'll Q in, very nice. I gotta reset, get my second form here. Once you have second form on Kane, you are objectively one of the best champs in the game. Easily A tier across all spectrums or calculations. Once you have your second form, the reason why you never see Kane in pro play and you, oftentimes you don't see him in high elo is because people respect his ganks more and they'll just run away. They understand that if you let Kane hit you, he gets essence for free that way. And that's how he gets his form. If he doesn't hit champions, he'll literally never get it. And a lot of these people, they've been wanting to scrap with me. They've been wanting to fight me on Scuttles. They've been wanting to fight me in their jungle. And that's just giving me a free form. Never do that. You want to try to delay Kane's form as long as possible. And then when he's stuck on normal Kane in the mid late game, he loses. Now I can solo anyone on their team, even the Urgot. Who's in my jungle? That was really aggressive. I don't have boots, I'm actually really freaking slow. Got the knockup, we're gonna auto attack Q, Gore Drinker, she's gone. Diego's mid lane, he doesn't have boots. He's chasing action. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this camp. I would like to get some pressure over here. I could even go for Dragon right now. A big thing I'm doing, if the enemy team's doing a lot of chasing, I would rather get resource and move towards the chase. Like I still got several monster camps and some minions and I still got over here. I'll attack Q, Gore Drinker, double knock up, double Gore Drinker. We're gonna walk with her here. Oh, that W though. That was actually a very poorly placed W. I put most of it in the wall, which is pointless because she can't move through walls. Got the auto attack, I'm gonna queue out. I don't think Viego can kill me. Well, maybe. He did red smite me, so he actually kinda can here. 
Oh, he pulled me out. <laughs> he pulled me out. I knocked him up though when he came back for me. I can, I can definitely go back in here. Oh, I think he's still chasing me. Yeah, he's literally still chasing. I don't think he realizes that I can kill him. Auto attack, Q Gore Drinker. I've got so much health back off that. Got him. You can shorten your Q animation by pushing it into a wall. It speeds up the damage output barely. It can be worth it though. Just like that. We'll go for Gromp here. Main thing on Kane is just don't die. You're not playing Scion, you don't need to die. <laughs> just stay alive, you absorb resources much faster than most junglers. As long as you're alive, most likely you'll be building up a lead by farming. And since I do have a lead at this point, I want to be in his jungle as much as possible. Q Gore Drinker, E Q Gore Drinker into auto attacks. You don't W until you know you can land it. Like if they line themselves up against a wall or if they're already CC, then you W. Otherwise, you want to hold on to it because a lot of people will try to juke it out. And when they're juking, they're moving back and forth and they're not really running away to where you can stand there and auto them for 10 years and they'll die. So don't throw out your W early. It's like your W is like having one bullet in a gun and they know you only have one bullet and the second it in the second like you use it like they're anticipating that and they're trying to dodge it and that that's like all you got a lot of the times since i'm so fed it doesn't matter but just don't waste it is what i'm trying to say i have r this is gonna hurt though oh three shots at least action brought her back evelyn's here i just saw that I got to back and spend my gold. I'm sitting on it way too much. We're going to auto attack QW. Your W is not a channel. It just has a long uh, animation. So I still got to cast it there even when it went to knock me back since I started it before it knocked me back. Bad smite on my part. Yes, I know. I need to back and spend my gold. I'm still stronger than Diego is, so I might get away with not doing that. Dodge the Evelyn charm. I'm gonna flash auto. That's a triple knockup right there. Oh my Gorjinker, I swear I clicked it. Believe it or not, Gorjinker actually has an activation period. I activated it, but I didn't have enough time for it to go off. I positioned to where it would hit all three of them there. Oh, it's really unfortunate that I died. I, I gave up a fatty shutdown. A thousand gold over to Aphelios. That's really, really bad. Your next item after Gore Drinker, you'll normally have boots by now. And then, so you'll, you'll get your tier twos. And then, if you're doing a lot of team fighting, you'll go for Sterics. And we're already doing some team fighting. So we'll go Sterics in the Cleaver. You can also honestly pick up a tier. You can still get Mana Moon on Red Cane, just don't rush it. Don't get it first, second, or third item. Get it fourth, fifth, or sixth. It's still nice to have the mana so you'll never run out in a fight. Plus, it gives you a lot of damage. How fast is she? 380? I don't think I can get her. Yeah, it's not worth it. I don't think I'll get her. Plus, I was going to miss all those minions. I'm going to pull these together. Your W hitbox is massive. It starts on your own bodies. That's what makes it really easy to hit multiple people in a chaotic fight. If you line it up properly, especially if they're trying to hit you, it makes it much easier. It's, they basically funnel themselves into it. Q Gore Drinker. I'm going to R Dodge Charm. Wait, where did Evelyn go? There she is. She's not faster than I am. She just dies here. I'm gonna hold on to Q just in case she flashes the wall. If she flashed wall, I would still had it to get her. I assume her flash was on a cooldown. I had to guess. Your worst matchups on Kane are usually gonna be champions that can out team fight you. Nunu can be challenging if you're not on Red Kane. If you're on Red Kane, you honestly beat Nunu, but you can't match his ganks early. Fiddlesticks can be really challenging. He can hit a five-man fear in a team fight with his R. And Ivern is very challenging as well. Ivern Snare plus Daisy can really mess you up in a fight. So it's really just Ivern Fiddle and Nunu can be challenging. But 
once you do have your second form, you can still make it work. Kane's just one of those champs. Very versatile once you have second form. Pre-second form, yeah, he's not the best, but very cool once he's second. Uh, I don't actually have R here. Oh, this is so freaking sketchy. That was beyond sketchy, dude. Holy crap, I almost just killed myself. I know Evelyn's still chasing me. She's a dirty little turd. I do have Gorge Anchor, but I'm very low. If she has R, it could be bad. There we go. Back to full health. Very balanced. Aphelios is doing outrageous damage to me. I'll go shove mid lane. He's so hard for me to fight right now. Since Red Kane doesn't have the same mobility Blue Kane has, getting the AD carries who are really fed can actually be annoying. Q Gore Drinker. Oh, there's Evelyn. She was looking to kill me. I'm already back to full health. It's a very aggressive thing to try to finish a Kane. Oh, you don't want to do this, Rel. She really wanted that blue buff. She's gonna die for it. Double knock up, auto attack Q. My Gore Drinker's about to be up. You normally wait inside until your abilities are back up and I already had the main ones back. I'm gonna go this way. I really need my uh, Q dash to dodge, baby. Auto attack Q Gore Drinker. Oh, he caught me out of my E. Got the kill. Urgot doesn't have R. He actually dies here. Q Gore Drinker. He missed his R on me. Auto attack Q. Nice. Feels bad. Phaleos popping off. Everyone's about to die. She's looking to R out, but she couldn't get close enough to the wall before she met her inevitable end there. Yeah, this Rel, man. Their team's so tanky. Red Kane plays so well versus melee champs and tanks, though. That's his specialty. He can just sit in there, and they don't have enough damage to actually kill you to where you perma-heal off them with your uh, passive. You heal around 37% of the damage you deal to enemy champions. Super, super high. Maybe I go. Ah... You're going this way, huh? Are you gonna go to? Q Gore Drinker, R to dodge. Down goes Urgot. We're sitting on so much gold right now. I guess they think they can win because they have a fed of Phelios. We landed the knock up on him. <laughs> Q into the wall for the uh, animation cancel. This is the Penta. I think Kench is trying to give it. Woo! Let's go! Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. Kind of want to spend my gold so you guys can see the build. Because I know a lot of people struggle with builds. So I'll go ahead and spend the gold. So yeah, we'd get the Sterk since we're team fighting, then we'd get the Black Cleaver. And since we're ahead, we'll get Mana Moon fourth item instead of fifth. You can go for uh, Winner's Approach. I haven't tried that out too much myself, but it seems like it would make sense because it gives 400 health. And it gives even more bonus HP based off your max mana. So realistically, it's giving more around six or 700 HP plus a shield. Mana Moon might be better though for the damage because that gives you more healing in the end off your passive these guys are pushing up really far it's time for them to get what's coming to them oh this is warded Q gore drinker I'm gonna go inside of him while I'm exhausted I don't want him to do that kind of damage against me. Q, Q Gordrinker is such a smooth animation on Kane. 
Item works perfectly on him. And we probably just end from here. We're too big. He had nearly 3,000 HP, nearly 380. And with our R, we can dodge all of their important skill shots. And, oh, I guess there will be one last fight before we do the little outro here. Line it up, cute gore drinker. They're going to kite back towards their fountain. Once our stun's up, I think we can kill Felios. Q Gore Drinker, W. Oh, he had his uh, flash. Oh, it wasn't worth it. I thought I could finish him off with my Q. He had a little bit too much healing. Off of that, it got my shutdown, and they might turn it on my team here. Caitlyn's not auto-attacking the base. She goes in for the R instead, picks off the Aphelios. And that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this Kane Jungle commentary guide for Season 12. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Looking at damage dealt enemy champions, we did have the most in the game. I'm happy with that. For damage taken, we had the most in the game. We'll look at healing done real quick. I feel like that'll be a interesting one. Healing done, we had the most in the game by a lot. How much it was it? 34,000. Holy crap. For runes, Conquer healed us for 885. Doesn't tell us how much bonus damage it gave. Triumph gave us back 1,500 health, 600 free gold. We finished Tenacity by the 9 minute 20, 20 seconds. Last stand did 700 bonus damage, so an impact nearly 900 bonus damage. And Ravenous healed us for 2,500. All in all, Kane Jungle, one of the best carry junglers for Iron Through Platinum easily.